what's going on y'all welcome back to another video we're at the shop today it is saturday uh we went and got the uh truck all cleaned up uh still got a few things to do i don't know if i'm gonna get to it this weekend uh but as you can see she's all clean tires all cleaned up she looking good i want to get my tanks polished but i don't know if i'm gonna get that done today because right now we're polishing the wheels on the trailer it's getting to that time of the year where we're getting into good weather so we got to get the truck and trailer back to looking all pressed out so i'm gonna show you guys what i started with so as you can see, they are got a little shine to them, but they're dull. As you can see, when I rub them, you can hear the grit in them. So we got to get these all polished out. I've already started on the one up here. As you can see, it's a little bit more shiny. Now, I've only cut this so far. I have not started polishing it, but when we move over... To that wheel i'll kind of give you guys a process of how i polish my wheels and pretty much anything i kind of use the same same step but first things first always got to jack it up so your wheel can spin it's just 10 times easier to do it that way but once i get this one done i'll show you guys what what the end pro product is looking like we'll move on to that one and i'll show you guys uh kind of my process all right, y'all, that's one wheel down. Fully sanded, well, not fully sanded, but a light sand and the full polish. See if I can get some more light in here. It ain't perfect. But it works for me. It looks a whole lot better than what it did. That is for sure. It takes a while, but it's definitely worth it. Especially after the winter time. Just to get them back to a shiny condition with some clarity in them. I mean, you can see how clear they are. You can see the foam. I mean, it's not 100% as clear and as perfect as it could be, but that's where I normally get them, and then I normally have them professionally polished afterwards, but there you go. Put the lug covers back on it, and I'll show you guys the, next, the steps on uh, that wheel. Got our tire shine on, lug covers back on. Anybody wants to know, this is the stuff I use natural finish i don't like the glossy glossy stuff i'm not a fan of it i just like a a clean looking tire it gives it just a little bit of shine but after it really dries it looks like the ones on the truck because i've already done the whole truck and it's dried it just gives it that clean tire look that's the look that i like so let's get the other axle jacked up on this side and I'll let you guys know my steps. But I'm also, I should say, I'm missing a step because I don't have it right now. I ran out uh, my purple bar with my white uh, polishing wheel. If I had that, it would come out even more shinier. But I currently don't have that step. So let's move on to the next. All right, y'all. Got you set up on the tripod. Ugh. So with the light on it, you can kind of see just how bad this wheel looks. And this is after wash, just a little bit of dirt on it, but none of that crap rubs off of it. You can kind of see the, the brown tint that it has to it. So first things first, the kit that I use is the uh, semi-truck Renegade polish kit. 
It comes with everything that I'm using besides it doesn't come with this. This is Renegade Heavy Cut. This kit comes with the Renegade Showtime Shine, which it works good. I'd normally use the Showtime Shine as like a maintenance type of uh, polish. So like, you know, sitting around, ain't got nothing to do on the dock or something like that. And the wheels are already like polished, polished like I'm doing now. And then I'll hit them with a the Showtime Shine just to get them, you know, really shiny. But this stuff is really good to cut the wheels down and get all the crap out of the wheel. So this is what I use, especially after the winter time when I'm fully polishing a wheel. So we wanna use our red or orange uh, cut wheel. This is what they call it, call it a cut wheel. It's to cut up all the stuff off of it. That's gonna be your first polishing wheel with your brown rouge. And then after you hit it with your red, you're gonna hit it with your yellow, which is your shine uh, polish, actual polish wheel. That's gonna actually like bring the shine out of the wheel. Your yellow with your green rouge. But since it's after winter time, I'm gonna sand or sand these wheels down because they need it. I can't just polish this wheel you know, cut it and then polish it. Cause if I do, you're still going to see all the imperfections in it. So it's not going to have that real clarity and that real shine. So the Renegade truck kit comes with pretty much a, scr a scotch bright uh, wheel, throw it on your buffer and you can quickly do a quick sand on your wheels and it's pretty easy. So I'm going to kind of explain everything as I get get it all set up here to get ready for our sand. Like I said, you need to jack your wheels up. I still got to take the uh, lug nut covers off, but uh, let's see. But take all your lug covers off. They're just going to get in your way. Get your wheel on here all nice and tight. I'm gonna get these lug covers off and then uh, I'll get back to you. All right, getting our last one off here. I do wanna reiterate for anybody new that's coming around my videos, I'm not a professional polisher. I'm nowhere near it. I just know how to get a wheel looking decently good enough for my work truck and then I get them professionally polished. But I do know a little bit. I don't know a lot. I could learn a lot, but um, so we got our scotch brake pad on our buffer. You want to be at a 45 degree angle when you go and sand and when you uh, polish. So as close to a 45 degree angle as you can. You're going to sand one way and then you're going to turn your buffer and you're going to sand the other way same with the polish you're gonna polish one way wipe all your polish off and you're gonna go back and po uh, polish again with that same buffer the opposite way so one way then the next way so I don't think it really matters which way you go I normally always start this way first I spin the wheel while I go so uh, polisher is gonna try to push the wheel this way so I always spin the wheel first and then I'll start sanding uh, you can see as you sand and as you polish, you'll see a line in your wheel and that's your guideline as I call it and you'll follow that in. So you'll, you know, go a couple rotations and then you'll push in just a little bit, go a couple rotations and you push in a little bit. So your guideline will move and that's how you know where, um, where you have polished and where you haven't polished. So I'm going to start sanding this. Um, and I will keep the video going the same speed it is now for a little while and then I'll speed it up to a time lapse until we're ready to start polishing.
options in it. But you can already see it looks cleaner than what it did just with that little sand. But uh, I'm going to hit it the other side the other way, see what it looks like. And if, it, if, it, I, if I can't, if I don't see all the perfections gone, then I'll hit it again. I'll sand it again this way and again that way until I get the wheel to where I don't see any visual, visual, visual perfection. So I'm going to go in and hit the inside here and hit the faces. And then we'll move on to uh, polishing this way. I always do my lip part of the wheel twice. I only do the faces once most of the time. So. sand it I did the lips one more time um, just to get the little surface imperfections out of them these do still have um, a lot of uh, pits very small pits in them but I don't feel like sanding them completely smooth right about now that's the reason why I get my wheels professionally polished because they'll take them down to completely smooth and make them look brand new again I just kind of get the, uh, you know, imperfections as in like, you know, the deep, deep stains in the wheel. That's what I get out, you know, from basically from Blue Beacon since they re recycle their water. You know, the acid that's in that water sitting on the wheels is what causes a lot of imperfections. And then the lips get more damage than the faces do because the lips have you know all the sediment and stuff that sit on them and you know the faces just get hit so i pay attention to the lips more than the faces anyways because you can have a really 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 clean lip and not touch the face and your whole wheel will look good if you get your lips really polished out really well and you just do like a light job on your faces which i'm calling this my lip and this my face um your wheel will look 10 times better than what it would and it'll look like a fully polished wheel so i pay more attention and take more time on the lips than i do the faces but we're going to move on to our next next wheel which is going to be our first cut which is our orange and or red wheel with your brown rouge So we get our rouge applied. Just a little bit, don't need a lot. When you first get your wheels, you're gonna have to put a lot of polish in them because you know it takes a while to prime your, your wheel, but I'm gonna do the same process as I did when I sanded. I'm gonna go this way, then this way, then our faces, indoor this way then our faces then this way whichever way you want to do it but that's the way i do it so do the same thing i'll have the uh camera rolling um at the same speed for a little bit then i'll kick it into a time lapse
done. Barrel's done. I'm gonna hit these barrels twice. I'm gonna cut them twice. I'm gonna hit them one more time. And then we'll move on to where we really get our shine, which is out of our uh, yellow with our uh, green rouge. You can already see some shine in the wheel versus what it was. But our shine will really pop more once we uh, get to our next buffer wheel. So you always want to wipe the residual off. So get you some terry towels, get a pack of them. Get the residual polish off. Not really worried about really scrubbing the wheel, just getting the residual off with one towel. And then you'll hit it with your next rouge. And then you'll uh, hand polish the wheel and really get that pop. And then you'll use your three towel method, which I'll go over the three towel method um when i get over that way so got our residual off change our wheel out over to our yellow and our green rouge same process off the residual before moving on to the next step just a quick wipe down just like so all right so now I don't know if you guys are gonna see this on camera or not but after you get done with that stage, you're going to see some black, especially if you got pits like I do. Uh, you're going to see some black in those pits. Don't worry about those. Those will come out once you uh, hand poly. So, I'm going to take my uh, hand pad, my polishing pad. Help if I open this up. This stuff's thick, so. Put a little bit on the pad here. Put a 
a little there, a little here, a little there. Dap it around the wheel, just how I do it. You don't have to do it this way, this is just how I do it. Kind of use too much polish, but it's fine. And then you put in some elbow grease. If it's not turning black, it's not doing anything. three towels out here there's one there's two and there's three so if you notice dirty and very dirty a little less dirty not really dirty at all so three towel method pretty simple to understand the dirtiest towel you use it first wipe, and wipe it all down just get most of the residual off. You don't really have to make make it perfect. Your second towel, then you're really getting in there and getting a lot of material off. And you pretty much should get most of your polish off with your second towel. And then your third towel is for just in case you missed any spots and it'll get really that little film that you may have missed on the wheel completely off and you're completely clean. So. Normally let this sit for about three minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this off, starting off with our dirtiest towel. perfect but it's a hell of a lot better than what it was and it'll have that shine enough to where the wheels aren't all dull and it'll look good rolling down the road indoor stopped so said not a professional at this I'm not a professional polisher it ain't the best job in the world but it'll work for Anybody that uh, likes to keep their truck clean and their wheels looking good, that's all you got to do. And if you really want to get into it, you know, you can take the wheel off and you can get up in here and polish in between all, all around where the lug nuts are and get that all sanded down. And then you can uh, get your little cone attachment, which I have, and you can get up in here, but... I'm not going for that show shine or anything like that where the wheels have to be, you know, perfect and smooth and look brand new. So this is just a, what I would call an owner operator shine, you know, truck works. So the wheels aren't going to look perfect, but you want them to look pretty. So 
I'm gonna finish getting getting these on. We'll get our uh, tire shine on here, and uh, I'll show you guys the final product. We go forever and ever, yeah. You know that I'm at your center, yeah. You can say you can do better, uh. No, no, I won't let em, uh. We go forever and ever, yeah. I gon' create the pressure, yeah. You can say you can do better, uh. You can say you can do better, yeah. I know Alright, y'all, that's what our final product will look like. All said and done, once our uh, tire shine back here does what it does. But I'll move the light off of this so you can really kind of see what she's looking like. There you go. All nice and clean looking. Like I said, not perfect, but they do the job. So that's just how I do it. So there's many ways to do it. There's many ways different guys do it. People use different products, so on and so forth. I just happen to have Renegade. I happen to buy Renegade. I happen to use Renegade. I've used Je uh, Zephyrs. I've used a de couple different uh, metal polishes, but Renegade I seem to have the best luck with. Some people seem to have luck with um, other things. So it's all preference uh, on what you want to use. So this is just a little bonus video out at the shop. So. If you guys like it, let me know. Give me some more ideas of ideas of things you guys want me to film as like little short, shorter bonus videos that I can, you know, edit really fast and throw up. You know, give me some ideas of guys what you want to see. You know, how I clean the truck when I do wash the truck myself and other little things that can that I do. So give me some ideas. But other than that, like, comment, subscribe, share, check out the Instagram, Snapchats, all that good stuff. If you want to communicate, merch links in the bio, as always, Amazon links are in the bio, and all the good stuff are in the bio. But I had to get the polish on the other side. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. I had to give you guys the uh, full shot before really closing the video. She's all done, all polished up. Besides the tanks on the truck, are going to be done. Sorry for the wind. That's the worst wheel out of all of them. That's the oldest wheel I can tell. But letting that tire shine sit and soak in. Looking good. Looking good.